Hi, this is John, and this is week 50 of Dot Dreams Devlog. I just came back from meeting with my uh, long estranged uh, roommate, college roommate. We had a fallout, but then recently during his birthday we talked and, well, I was invited. So I got to go to Big Bear with him and a bunch of other med school students, which is what he's doing, and some finance people, and two military soldiers. So it was pretty fun, I have to say. And uh, because of that, we got to uh, a topic that we didn't expect med school students and game developers to share, which is, and I would say it's quite common to human race in general, whether or not it is worth it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it feels like it was supposed to be something big. But um, it, was, it was surprising to us because they were telling us that while they know um, people in med school know that if they can pass and get through all of that, it's going to be econo economically successful. You know, they're going to make a lot of money, boatloads of money at like 35, 36. Uh, but until then, they are walking on eggshells. That's what he was telling me. Every test, every single trial on their way to residency and after residency, well, they have to be very, very careful not to do anything wrong and, you know, study and see if they're actually smart enough. And they were telling us that there are so many friends of them that they've heard stories where like the third year or fourth year, like right before they're done, they they just give up or they just like kind of like crash. And then they just feel like all the time wasted because if they can't do that, they have to settle with something much lower. Regardless, my point is there's a lot of risk in med school design. And that was surprising to me because being the only game developer there, uh, which is starting to become not as a interesting thing but regardless uh i was like yeah oh crap that's like the same thing <laughs> as us no no no. okay so I, I, i'll try to link this better but before then i'm going to tell you guys about our sponsors no i'm going to tell you guys about what's what we've done what we have done done this week so i was out for half of the week so but but i still spent a lot of time animating and finishing the ending of the demo which is when the smiling colossus enters you guys at this point should have seen it in the video already and then i've also drawn seven more cards so we are at 85 out of 100. Druv also got to work a lot this time he actually uh, has been a dem uh, what's called optimizing the game. He built it and tweaked some settings on it, and seems like it's uh, doing a lot better than we expected. So that's uh, really really nice. He worked really really hard on it, and uh, I can't I can't I don't know how to express my appreciation for such a such a uh, awesome partner. Okay, so anyways, back to my crazy a uh, few days at Big Bear with med school students. Uh, I think I think <laughs> it's almost kind of common that people at our age who haven't really reached somewhere or are still struggling to reach somewhere will eventually get to the point where you have deep talks. Oh, okay, deep is kind of like, it's not deep talks. It's just, you just have talks where you kind of share your struggles and share your things and all that stuff. And it was actually them who made the comment saying that uh, both med school students and game developers are doing one thing, which is they're sacrificing their present, the present for the future. They're hoping that whatever they are missing out and whatever they have to give up to pursue what we are doing um, will eventually pay off. And um, while we had a lot of brofists and we were like all like patting each other others back, I have to say I don't really exactly agree because. Um, I, I'll ask Drew about this, but personally, um, working on what we're working has been super fulfilling while we're working on it. I think, um, like we mentioned back then, the state of flow is very, 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 very addicting. We know how to challenge it perfectly now. Uh, we know when, when we'll get burned out or whatever it is. We know how to work really hard, and when we're working, we are super focused. And once the day ends and I've, I've finished everything, it feels very, very nice to look back on what I have done this week, you know, or look at GitHub to check a list of things that I've done this day, today, and knowing that we're closer to our goal. I actually feel like game design is more about the, fu uh, the present, while med school students going through med school is actually more about the future. And that pr actually presents some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, I, I don't know exactly how to put it. But they're, they are going to be economically viable, economically sufficient 
at the age of 35. While we don't know that, <laughs> you, we can have the most fun making the crappiest game and um, we are sacrificing the future for something that we don't know if it's going to pay off. And that's a very grim take on game design. Uh, I wonder if you guys agree with me. Uh, well, that being said, I do believe when we put in so much effort in the project and we have consistently checked with people outside about what they think about Eduardo, I feel like it's not exactly true that we're sacrificing the future. Uh, yeah, but um, uh, it, it just seems risky. I think, um, I think that's the closest we can draw a comparison between med school students and game designers. I enjoy what I'm doing. And there is a future economically for games that we are making. And um, what a weird topic to. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, man, I am I'm dead tired. So last night we uh, went, uh, which is one thing I don't do a lot, is that we went clubbing and I was dancing like a madman. And then by the time we we walked out, it was uh, already 2 a.m. and there's no Ubers around and in the snowy mountain big bear so we had to walk home and after i walked home and came back and in the morning i still did my burpees i jumped i did like 78 today in four minutes so i've been doing this thing where i jump 80 burpees within five minutes actually and then uh, i do it every other day but what happened last night and this morning's jumps and doing cleanup and socializing i'm i'm a very introverted person as everybody definitely knows uh it's it's been super draining so i have been kind of low energy this whole episode hope you guys understand that and um yeah I'll, I'll stop there i don't know how much you guys care about our personal life um we are at episode 50 so we have two more episodes or one more episode before the anniversary episode drew actually sent me a, a video about what he thinks our anniversary video should be and it actually looks really interesting uh i think uh, i'm gonna see if he wants to edit it because he seems like there's something specific that he wants about these uh, and, uh these devlogs the only problem is he doesn't edit it so he can't he just feels like he's pretty powerless so thinking whether or not to just uh, let him try it and then uh, we'll just post whatever it is actually <laughs> since i don't know i don't think Drew actually watches these episodes when i just talk alone so just letting him make a uh, episode is technically our secret uh, for people who have watched this let me know in the comments just like give me a, a winky smile letting Druv make his own episode on week 52 is our secret anniversary video yeah yeah okay cool uh, i'll talk to you guys next week bye